My name is Frida Thompson. My name was Frida Fischoff. That was my... Your maiden name? Yes. I'm 92. I had a birthday in March that I became Bar Mitzvah. And we mm-hmm. were part of that wonderful experience. Yes. Where did you live, Frida, prior to coming into the Jewish home? When I first came to the United States, to Chicago. Tell then. me, how did you get to America? Did you go through Ellis Island? No. When we had to leave Germany, I was born in 1930, and I had two older brothers... I didn't even know when I started. I just went outside, and there were other little kids there, and I played with them. And then when I played with some of the kids, all of a sudden, the other person came out and pulled their children out and said, you cannot be with somebody that's Jewish. It was a difficult time. Yes. So tell me a little bit about your mother and your father. My mother came from Germany, and my father was actually born in Poland. Frida, do you you have any siblings, brothers, or sisters? I have two brothers. And guess what happened? They were in America. They actually came before I did. And now, with all this going on, I was cooped up in here. Then I was informed that they had died. I was shocked. Do you know what they died of? They were living at their own place, but apparently they got ill, and there was nobody to help them. And I didn't even know. When I was living here, we couldn't get out of the place, and I couldn't find out anything. Do you recall how old you were when the war started? In 1939, we were in Germany. The Gestapo came and took most of the Jewish men and put them in prison. And then when my father was released, we finally wanted to come to America. Finally, the day we were supposed to go to America, go to the airport and then go first to England and then to America, all of a sudden the Gestapo came and they said, you cannot leave. We were ready to go to the airport. And I said, why can't we leave? And the Gestapo said, because the war broke out today. And they just took my father and I never heard from him again. And then I lived this little while with my mother and my brothers to send them to America, to Chicago. And then my mother and I stayed in France where I got scarlet fever. Then my mother stayed with me for a while. And while we were staying in this camp, and I was still in Germany, the Gestapo came and... Do you remember the name of the camp that you were living in? It was in France, but I don't remember. So when you were in France, were you living in a home or an apartment? No, no. In concentration camp. In the concentration camp. Yes. But the one thing I must say, the French people had to do what the Germans were telling them, because France was occupied by the Germans. Oh, and then when I was in France, before I even got there, I lived in a Jewish home with children. The children were anywhere from age 6 to 15. One night, the older girls sometimes had to be with the younger girls, to supervise them. One night, when the, the older girls didn't come to put us to bed, the lady of the, who, who was the supervisor of the home came and said the Gestapo knew exactly how old each of the girls were. And the girls who were over 12, they were sent to uh, Auschwitz. You were younger than 12? Yeah, yes. And then they sent us to a city in, in France called Grenoble. And where did we wind up? I was sent to Switzerland, and my my mother was sent to another concentration camp. That's the last thing I saw of her. And another thing is, there were some other girls my age at that time. The mothers were allowed, if you want to have your child with you, you can take her with you. And I was very angry at my mother. She didn't ask for me. Then I found out why. Because if you said you wanted to be with your mother, they sent you and their mother to the concentration camp, and that was where they were killed. My mother knew, and that's the last time I saw her. I remember she was on a train being shipped out. I was very angry, and I said to her, why didn't you ask for me? Like the other girls did. The other girls said to me, we asked to be with our mothers. And I said, no matter what? They said, no, no matter what. But my mother knew what would happen to me. You got married? Yeah. Did you have children? Yes. I'm married and I have a son and a daughter. 
and they're great. I recall a story when you were being bat mitzvahed here about you seeing Hitler. Oh yeah, he drove by quite a lot. He was saying, he looked at the different little girls, and he looked at me, and he was saying, oh, what a pretty little girl she is. And then someone behind me who was watching said, she's Jewish. Did you ever have to do a salute, or do you remember Yes, any I that? have to, especially when we were out with the other kids, and he would come by. We had to all put up our hands and say, hi, Hitler, and I didn't do it. And some of the people behind me said, you better do it because the Gestapo is right behind you with guns. So I had to say hi, Hitler, whether I wanted it or not. I don't understand what had happened. All of a sudden, he had in mind to become the Führer for the whole world. They took over Germany, France, and all the other countries in Europe. I don't even, to this day, completely understand what happened.